Welcome back to my mile grass run for Pokemon Sapphire, and I think it's time to move out. Hmm. Oh, I guess we can't fight this guy, but I'll take TM5, you know, I'll take a roar. That might come in handy, you know. I may want to use that as a utility move against um, a certain gym leader coming up, so our Torkoal can't set up on me, because, you know, screw that noise. Well, I'll fight you. Just to pad out this episode a bit, because... We're probably going to stop after I pick up strength, if not a bit before that, depending on how things, you know, go. We'll see. Wow, this should be an easy fight. Absorb. Yeah, I decided to ditch Fury Cutter. I'm like, you know what, I'll take Dig instead. Because Fury Cutter, as useful as it is at high power levels, just setting it up just takes too long, usually. Unless you're fighting against a Pokemon, you know, that just really can't hurt you. And with the Grass type, that's usually not the case, it seems. Um, there's just so many fire types in this game, you know, that I just don't want to be spending a lot of time trying to charge up a bug move. There's just not enough payoff for it. And I really need a better grass move. Can, can we please learn, like, Leaf Blade or something, you know? Razor Leaf? I, I'd even take Vine Whip at this point, okay? Even if it doesn't make sense, I'd rather have it. Um, is there anything I can throw at this thing that I actually have the advantage on it? Oh yeah, Rosalia. Okay, Thorn, we're sending you out to poison this sucker. So please do a good job and don't suck. After all, I can't exactly growth this, you know? Like, if I power myself up, it ain't gonna help me out. Yeah, I really can't dodge that. Ow. I guess I could try, um, Stun Spore. Ooh, we got the poison, but now I can't Stun Spore it, because, you know, can't put on two status effects. Because that's not a thing. At least not primary status effects. Ugh. That's really annoying sometimes. Makes me miss Demon Hunter. Um... Honestly, that's one RG Maker game I probably should go back and play just so I can review it. I'll put that on the to-do list, because I got other stuff I want to work on this month. And I really need to get around to the PS2, at some, PS2 games at some point, because I was planning on doing like five updates apiece for most of them. Um, I was planning on trying to get 12 done for Eternal Poison, because I wanted to push it this month. And if I don't start working on it pretty soon, you know, I'm going to have to basically spam multiple episodes on a single day. Oh, Mega Drain? Well, we can ditch Absorb and take Mega Drain instead. There we go. I mean, sure, it's nothing great. I'd rather have, you know, Razor Leaf, but I'll take what I can get, okay? <laughs> At least that's one down. Though that fight kind of took way longer than it should have. <sighs> oh, man, that little thing. Of course, it evolves into um, Altaria, which always seems to give me a run for my money. You know, stinking dragon type. They can be a nightmare to deal with, man. I guess we'll buggle on that and get that doll. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll keep your secret for this low tad doll that I really don't need. But I'll take it anyway. Let's see, do I want a double battle? No, oh, why not? Who taught me about Pokemon? I did! Over the course of, you know, 20 plus years. <laughs> I've done a lot of learning in that time. Ooh. This is not the best matchup. First things first, we'll try and take you out. You know what? Dig on the Rosalia. I hope, you know, Growler doesn't drop a magnitude and kill me for that. Because, you know, I'm completely vulnerable, and it's going to hurt even more now that I'm in a hole. Oh, I guess it went after, you know, White Oak, so I got to dodge that bullet. Can I kill it with, um, just Absorb, though? Nope. <sighs> oh, Defense Curled? Of all the moves I was expecting, that was not it. I was expecting, you know, it would punish me a bit more with, you know, something else. Aw, oh, man. 
Well, let's try and keep all the pressure on this gravel and just get rid of it. Um, maybe I should have dug on it instead. At least I only have, you know, one target left. Okay, I think we can absorb on this and kill it and throw out nature power, you know, and be like swift in that Rosalia's face. It might respond, though, with Stun Spore. Which, admittedly, I'm not looking forward to, because being paralyzed always blows. Um, I do love the spread stats sometimes, I have to admit. But I hate when my enemies do it to me. I really do. Oh, come on, that's not even going to be effective. Even with your growth, that's not going to be very effective. Okay, let's, um... Quick attack. And, um, nature power. Come on. Kill it. I seriously don't want to deal with this thing anymore. Just get rid of it. Or it starts, thrust, starts spreading status, you know, to make up for its weakness. Eliminate before it gets the chance, you know? Amazing battle style? What was amazing about it? Those were pretty standard tactics, and they weren't very impressive. Um, seriously. For double battles, that, that was a terrible performance. Sure, I'm not really outfit for them, you know, with, um, Earthquake, or Surf, or Muddy Waters, or various other moves for that stuff. But even so, that was still terrible. Um, oh, he does a consistent shift? Good, I'll just dodge him then. I don't want to dodge the hiker, though. Um, we'll put Thorn out. Because I'm assuming, you know, this guy's running some rock ground types. You know, like Graveler, Geodude, Onyx. So I can hope, you know, suck them dry of their health, you know, and heal myself. Oh, yeah. Time to go, Thorn. Time for a little Mega Drain. Hopefully this is enough to kill it. If not, I'll start setting up a growth or two. No, I guess guess it's more than enough. That you dude's like, what happened to me? I was out in the battlefield and instantly I was wiped out by one move. You gotta feel sorry for Geodudes, man. Like, they try so hard, they just get pile drived in the ground by, you know, a Mega Drain or something. You're like, gosh darn it, they're healing off me. I was trying so hard and they're healing off me. I'm completely useless. I don't feel too bad, Geo dude. At least you're helping me, you know, work towards greater gaming glory, I suppose. Though getting a past the um fire gym is gonna be quite the challenge. I suppose I could use Breloom and be like um bulk up into a bunch of mock punches, maybe. Um, assuming I don't get killed instantly. I may have to bring some healing supplies and see if I can just pull that off. And, you know, hope I don't get burned. Because if that happens, I'd also be in trouble. Oh, you're trying to yodel? Seriously, don't do that. I really don't want to listen to bad yodeling. If I want that, I'd go back and watch Doug, you know? Ah, shoot. Well, stun spore. First things first, be a dick. <laughs> okay. Ow. I mean, it's going to take three hits to kill me with that, but still. Okay, let's growth. Hopefully it's paralyzed this turn. Nope, getting pumped up. Going for a low kick, maybe? I'm going to growth one more time, then. I'm hoping I'll get lucky it doesn't crit with its next move. Oh, it's paralyzed. Even better. Now it's time to drain away its life force. Your life force is my life force. <laughs> it's sort of sad you got taken out by a critical hit, yet he's the one that got all pumped up to deliver a critical blow. There's deep irony there. Uh, I'm not going to even waste my time on that. I fear I can kill this thing in like two hits right now. Yep, two hits. Called it. 
Yeah, it's not gonna work very well. I'm part poison, man. Yeah, it really should have picked a better move. <sighs> Sometimes, man, they really don't have a clue what they're doing. Stop with the bad yodeling, man. Seriously. You're ruining my mood. You're taking all the fun out of it. Oh yeah, I better help the professor. With this, me, right? Mount Chimney Will. Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Aqua, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Aqua. We Team Magma won't allow you to get away with your misdeeds in the name of the oceans. Man, everyone's here. I is this a party? Was I secretly invited? Well, at least we know where they're going. Of course, I'm gonna go the long way to get there. Well, not strictly the long way. That'd be terrible. Yeah, yeah, great threat to us all. I really don't care. Ugh. Really, I just want to get over to, you know, that one place and grab, you know, strength. Because I needs it. That's an agent that's definitely going to come in handy. Yep, Cosmo. Still the Z. Maybe they want you to get confused with the guy from, you know, Fairly Odd Parents, you know. The fairy, Cosmo. <laughs> Usually say Marit's in Fall Harbor Town. Then some people from Team Aqua made me guide them to Meteor Falls. They promised me that they would excavate meteorites for me. But I... Team Aqua tricked me because I'm stupid. Oh, that meteorite. It'll never be mine now. But that Team Aqua... What are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? Nothing I care about at the moment, because, you know, I got other fish to fry. <sighs> Jeez. Still want to go to sleep. But let's grab this while we're here. Do I have a use for the Moonstone? No. But, better, better to have it than not have it, right? Okay. Oh yeah, I probably should just break this. Yeah. Go down here and grab the um items, you know? And just skip the trainers. Because I don't need to fight them. Plus, this means I can grab the berries. The tasty, tasty, um, block berries. <laughs> Not the best name, I have to admit. Sort of makes me think of blah of berries, you know, like blood berries. <laughs> so if I start talking about blood berries, I'm probably gonna have to talk about, you know, Saber Marionette J. Which I barely remember, because it's been forever since I watched it. That was a long time ago. Yes, it's me. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I, I thank you very much. Why, if I were wrinkled, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. For you, the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. We just our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me your repeat ball, which I don't even want. Seriously, I'm not a weirdo likes to catch multiple copies of the same Pokemon, usually. Unless it's in the service of some sort of, you know, odd run where I have to do it. Like the Ghastly run. Oh, come on. I don't, I don't want to be bothered by a little Pokemon right now. Take take your Wishmer elsewhere, man cave. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a man cave. Because, you know, we got a sailor or a fighter in here, you know? He definitely would turn this into his man cave if he could walk right through here. Yep, yes I did. I don't know why you just didn't move the boulder if you know you could use strength. I, mean, I know it's not round, but still. <sighs> you don't have to be a super muscular Pokemon to use that move. There's a whole lot of Pokemon that can use strength that you don't look very physically impressive. Oh man, not another pointless battle with a low-level Pokemon. 
Seriously, leave me alone. I don't have time for your weak butt. Well, if um, nothing else, I'll probably be stopping once I get outside of this cave. Or we can visit Wally's house, I guess. Though we don't really have much of a reason to stay there, do we? Sad part is I'm probably going to have to have another episode dedicated just to getting the Mount Chimney, because I haven't cleared this route yet, so everyone on this route's going to want to pick a fight with us. Joy. Until next time, then. See ya.